So I'm here with Amberetta, and yeah, actually, not really Amberetta, is it? Or am I mistaken? It always is. It always is Amberetta. Okay, it's always yeah. Amberetta. Well, yeah. So we've got our uh, when we agreed to come over and do this tour, our drummer. Unfortunately, couldn't because of his work schedule. His job wouldn't let him take time off. So, yeah. um, we made a phone call to our friends Nat and Rob, the Rufus twins here, yeah. from the band Blacklist Royals, yeah. and uh, asked if they would mind filling in on drums and second guitar for this this tour. Yeah, which they have done and yeah, and they doing a great and time. they succeeded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and then their band is touring immediately after this tour, so they're going to be over here for like a month. So yeah. are you guys coming back over here to Belgium? I don't know. I don't know. I hope. You should. You yeah. really should. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the way I'm going to structure this interview actually is using the Ten Commandments. So are you guys religious types? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not. <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> Extremely. So um, in Belgium, yeah, most people are Catholic. That's how we came up with uh, the Ten Commandments. So, actually, first commandment is, you shall have no other God before me. Yeah? So, actually, the question we have for you is, of course, it's not really about God. It's actually about your God. So, did you guys ever have uh, gods in the music world, in the punk rock world, that inspired you, actually, to come here and do your thing? Okay, I like the spin. All right, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> getting better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Rob? Rob? Oh, let's see, musical gods. Um, yeah, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of different types of music. My dad played music um, when he was, you know, younger. Um, so, I mean, I heard everything from, like, country music to, unfortunately, disco from the 70s and... Um, I think as far as like a musical god though I would I think the first uh bands that really inspired me to want to be a musician were probably The Clash and U2 like the, in the you know early 80s yeah like when MTV first came out and I started to hear like some of these bands that you know from different parts of the world that I'd never heard of before so yeah definitely The Clash and U2 yeah okay so yeah okay let's go to the next one because I have lots of questions for you guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> Just have to make haste. So, second commandment is, you shall not make for yourself any carved image. Well, the question I actually have for you guys was, where did you always dream of you'd be one day? So, it doesn't matter whether, whether you're in Amberetta all the time or not so I'll just ask you two guys <laughs> so what do you think uh, where did you guys think you'd be one day when you were like 15 years old and you dreamed of being somewhere someplace I always have dreamed of playing in Belgium yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it came true last year and I never thought it would happen again and yeah. Jesus Christ here I am again <laughs> and uh, yeah I can die tonight and that's fine with me yeah I still I'm believe concerned. that yeah <laughs> If only we could get a show booked in yellow. Oh, yeah. It would be just <laughs> over. That's yeah. where she's from, yeah. Yeah, I'm from yellow. It's <laughs> it's a very cool city. I'm actually from Yellow Point. Yeah, so, yeah, that's really awesome. Okay, anyhow. Yeah, okay, so that's where you wanted to be yeah, that's eventually. True. Yeah, so, um, okay, next question for your brother, maybe. So, what do you think? Do you think you've already accomplished some of your goals in music, or... Uh, do you think you've still got a long road ahead? Yeah, um, I mean, we've done a lot of cool things that I would have never thought we would get to do. Uh, when Nat and I grew up, Ann Beretta was one of our biggest influences of like how we developed our sound. So it's really cool to be able you know, to play with them and yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, especially like really improve upon their sound. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll just say that for the camera. They've improved and read the sound. Okay, <laughs> very good. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, let me just read the next commandment. If you do not know it, you shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. So, do you swear a lot? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well. Uh, another question for you, maybe. <laughs> okay. So, is it is it maybe frustrating when you're in a band that, yeah, don't you get frustrations like, well, that pl that 
that person plays better guitar or plays or sings better or things like that. No frustrations. No, not yeah. I mean, there there's no frustrations at all. I mean, our clutch went out. We got stuck in Exeter, and instead of making it a very irritating situation, we all went out, had a good time. We walked around the city. We took pictures. We shot. I mean, like. For us to come to Europe and especially be here in Belgium is amazing. So, there, to me, there's no frustrations at all. The worst case scenario to me would be the best case scenario because I'm here and not back in Richmond. All right, that's a good spirit, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so maybe let's go back to Rob. So, um, if I can read my questions, <laughs> uh, I know you guys uh, split up a while ago. If that's not really a hard question for you guys, I don't know. Uh, otherwise, I will not ask it again. But <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but no, uh, what was that uh, about? Well, after we released, I guess in 2003, the Three Chord Revolution record, we did a tour cycle in the states, and the record wasn't getting much um, distribution and promotion, and the tour. You know, that was a pain point, I think, at the time. That was a frustration, you know. So we were having a really hard time with our record label and touring, and um, and our management also was an issue for us. So we uh, we just kind of hit a wall where we, you know, we got home around Christmas time, I think, 2003, and we've been touring for a year with no help and no support, and the shows were, you know, a half or less than half of what they were the year before. And... Um, You know, we were all kind of going through some kind of life changes, you know, getting married and having babies and yeah. um, just kind of got smacked in the face with reality and, you know, mm -hmm. starting to think about how we were going to, you know, actually buckle down and pay rent and support yeah. families and things. Combine so, all those things. Yeah, yeah, so we had to kind of, you know, rethink our game plan and you know if I think also we weren't having a lot of fun mm -hmm. and that's something that we always said like when it wasn't fun we were going to stop doing it so yeah. I think we waited probably two years after it stopped being fun before we threw in the towel mm -hmm. and uh, just needed to take a break from it and now that we're able to kind of do it without any of the pressures of you know making money needing to make money or you know needing to promote a record or things like that you know it's a lot more fun for us and you know we get to you know, take two or three weeks off of work and come do things like this and come to Europe or in the States. We just play a few shows a year. We just go play some festivals here and there. So, yeah. Okay. You know, it's a lot more fun now and a lot less stressful. And, you know, we just get to kind of hang out and have yeah. a good time again and remember why we did it in the first place when we were kids, you know? Yeah. Always good to remember yeah. what is about, of yeah. course. And we enjoyed the show very much. So Thanks. that's a good thing. Okay. Next uh, commandment because. It'll take a while. Um, okay, so um, remember the Sabbath day. Do you guys ever get any time off? Uh, we had a day off yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? Uh, water to wine, man. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not a man, but... Well, that's an expression in the States <laughs> that, that idiots use. Um, <laughs> yeah. We... Uh, We just hung out yesterday, drank a little bit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Too much. So yeah, okay. Drinking too much is always a good thing to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. That's actually my only question uh, in that regard. Um. Okay. So honor your father and your mother. Yeah, that was a difficult one. So I'm just going to ask you, what about your father and your mother? Did they inspire you, or, or do you have a good bond with them, or not? And if not. Even if not, did it inspire you to write music or anything? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think anybody has that good of a relationship <laughs> when they're teenagers with their parents and yeah. start playing yeah. music and shit. But yeah, I mean, we're really close with our parents now. So, yeah. and they're my mom uh, is really always really stoked that we get to do this stuff. I think she got kissed by Bruce Springsteen a couple of years ago and I Ooh. think it kind of like changed her yeah. perception of like what we do. Yeah. <laughs> so now she's all about it. Yeah. So it's okay. cool. Yeah. So a good relationship with your mother. Always good thing. Always. Yeah. Always a good thing. Okay. So next one is you shall not murder. Please, please, please don't. Please. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
uh, no. Uh, but please don't. That's the first thing yeah. I want to say. And uh, the second thing, yeah, maybe a, l- a little bit of a political question. Uh, what do you think about the death penalty? Because in, in Belgium, it hasn't been around for quite this quite the time now. So, but in, in America, it still is going on. So, what do you think? Uh, man, that's a hard one. Um, <laughs> like personally, yeah, from personally. my standpoint, um, I feel like if you're gonna, if you go out and you murder someone, yeah. or you hurt their family, or someone's kids or wives, um, I think there should be some punishment. Yeah. Whether it's death or not, I don't know. Yeah. You know, uh, they could be mentally unstable, which you get that a whole bunch. So it's that's kind of like a loaded question. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot <laughs> real bad or really tell you how I feel. So, um, and on to the next commandment. And there's Robbie Huddleston. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, difficult question. One more, one more, one more. On the, when we're uh, on the political issue, well, uh, Barack Obama or uh, what's the other guy's Mitt Romney? <laughs> Tell me. Obama. Obama. Uh, Obama. Yeah. Obama. All right. <laughs> They're smart. Okay. Yeah. I I I hope I hope you guys <laughs> I hope you guys were gonna say I just very briefly I wouldn't elaborate on it but still <laughs> very good that you said Obama. He used uh, okay. New Revolution as a campaign slogan. What did he do? <laughs> that he he played New Revolution a song at one of his rallies. Really? Yeah. It's a New Revolution right wing revolution. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't understand what the song was about, so I. Yeah. In that context. Yeah. It's fucked up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Enough of the politics. <laughs> okay. Um. Few more, then we're finished. So you shall not commit adultery. Do you have a wife or a girlfriend or anything like that? I do have a wife. Yeah. So, um, when you're on tour, for example, like this, you do not find it hard to just resist other girls or anything, groupies, things like that. Do you have groupies? Um. Do I personally? No, I don't think I do. I just let. I just live vicariously through some of these guys. One of them. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What about you? No. <laughs> no. No what? <laughs> <laughs> no no comment. <laughs> no. Okay. So, seriously. Uh, who of you has got a girlfriend or a wife? I have a girlfriend. I have a wife. Yeah, you have a wife as well? Okay. So, what's your standpoint on adultery? It's bad. <laughs> Very good. Your wife will be glad to hear that. Okay. Well, I said it. No, don't. No. Edit that. <laughs> that did not happen. Yes. I, I love love, and I love being married. Yeah, okay. It's awesome. Very good. Very, what about you? you? Give me the URL. Uh, <laughs> send it to my wife. Can you zoom in on my face, baby? <laughs> Adultery is fucking bullshit. Anybody that would do that is a son of a bitch. And anything you... And these questions are horribly translated as well, so you probably shouldn't even watch any of these interviews. <laughs> This will be a great interview. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Uh, you shall not steal. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Yes. What? Um, My heart. Oh. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, Good one. Let's see. I was arrested when I was 16 for stealing a BMX magazine out of a drugstore. Oh. <laughs> um, and you were really arrested for that. Yeah. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, sometimes I just think it's kind of fun. So I, I'll, you know, grab grab something really meaning meaningless and, and little and, okay. you know, just kind of walk out of the store with it. Yeah, okay. You know, like a grape in a grocery store kind of thing. A grape, yeah, just stealing grapes. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of fun, I know. Okay. Uh, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So, uh, actually, my question there is, have you ever lied to one of your band members? And if so, about what? Anybody? I never have. He ne- never has. I never have. But we definitely have a band member that lies to us sometimes. Yeah. Uh, whether it be band practice or uh, just uh, may- maybe a yeah, may- may- maybe a chick that you might have dated in the past that he might be hooking up with and decided he didn't want to tell you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. For for us, no, absolutely not. We're <laughs> true blue motherfuckers, okay. Okay. and that takes us back to the other question: Do I cuss? Yes, and uh, yes. Okay, 
Thank you. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I think it's deep. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Okay. When you say we're practicing at eight, show the fuck up at eight. <laughs> not to <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Work your own shit out. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um. So, last commandment, I think. Yeah. Last one. Last question. Okay. So, you shall not covet. Do I say that right? Covet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Your neighbor's house, anything yeah. that's your neighbor's, and so on, blah, blah, blah. So, have you ever been jealous of one another, or of another band? Something like that. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Okay, I hear it definitely. Yes, definitely. <laughs> other so, yeah, elaborate. Well, yeah. When, when you're in a band, you can't help but get jealous of really shitty, or bands that are like total pricks, and then they get a lot of good opportunities you don't get, you know? Yeah. Or you, like, get compared to a band you don't even fucking listen to or whatever. Yeah. So, so in reviews and sing, things like that. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I mean, oh, God damn. <laughs> God damn, bro. So the Ten Commandments are deep, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, was a, that was a cool... Way to interview bands. Right? Yeah, thank Never you. Do that. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to be a little bit original. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know whether it worked. Oh, no, it did. Worked. It did. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so bless you all, guys, and uh, amen. Thank you for this interview. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Amberetta, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you.